the camel with the bell around his neck. In a small village there used to live a poor carpenter. He used to work very hard. But his earnings were just not enough to support his family. One day, on his way back home, he found an abandoned baby camel. He didn't want to leave the camel alone in the desert. So he decided to take him to his home. Once a week he used to take him to a nearby river for a bath. He thought to himself, let this camel grow and I can make more money by using him for trade and transportation. Then I'll become a camel trader. One day our poverty will come to an end. Whenever he used to ride the camel, his neighbors would get jealous of him because his business was growing. The villagers envied him for his new found prosperity. His neighbor friend too got jealous and he used to take undue advantage of his friend's kindness. He used to borrow money from him and he never returned. But still, the carpenter had a huge trust on his friend. Seeing this, one day his wife expressed unhappiness. She said, "Please don't trust people blindly. They may be your friends, but you need to learn how to say no." The carpenter did not listen to his wife and continued to help his friend whenever he asked for. One day, his friend called him home and he said, "Hey, there are so many camels in our village and they go together for grazing. How will you know which camel is yours? Why don't you tie a bell around your camel's neck?" That way it will be easy for you to spot your camel. The carpenter believed him blindly and he did exactly what his friend told him to do. He tied a bell around his camel's neck. The camel was not happy, but he had to listen to his master. Few days passed as usual. The carpenter's camel went for grazing. All the other camels returned home. But the carpenter's camel lost its way. The carpenter and his wife started getting worried about their camel and they headed towards the desert. Meanwhile, a hungry fox was wandering in the desert close by. He could easily locate the camel because of the bell around his neck. And the bell was making a lot of noise. The fox started following the camel and he was planning to make him his meal. Fortunately, the carpenter and his wife were on time and they were able to locate their camel. And when they saw the fox attacking their camel, they started screaming and hitting the fox with stones. The fox got scared and ran away. They were able to save their camel from the fox. The carpenter then realized and told his wife, "You were right. I shouldn't have listened to my friend and tied that bell. Today I have learned a lesson. The moral of the story is never blindly believe people. Think well and make your own decision." 